this the thing YouTubers do where like they clap and it syncs the mic so you just I feel like Curtis Connor now. <laughs> Hiya, my name is Jaya, Jaya Papaya, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is meant to be documentation of my progress over the years. I've had many different ways of documenting my art journey ever since I was 13 and I got my first DeviantArt account, to my Instagram that I run now, to the webtoons that I published this uh, past year. But I've always kind of liked the idea of speed painting and being able to see your art being created and seeing the thought process and reflecting on it and asking yourself, what could I do better? What did I do that I really, really liked? What else can I try? And I feel like having a channel like this would be a good sort of playground to be able to try out new things and show people how it looks, at least on my end. And so because of this, my channel will be trisected. Pretty sure that's a word. We're just gonna go with it. My channel will be trisected into three categories. That sounds really redundant, but you get the point. There's three of them. The first one is Maker Monday, starting with this video. This will be the first installation of Maker Monday, and its goal is to be the worst piece of garbage I can produce, so that way I can't overthink anything, I can't spend weeks hauling over my computer asking myself, why aren't you making a video? And telling myself, well, I'm not making a video because I'm gonna mess it up. I can't get any lower than this. It's already garbage. It's already ruined. And so that is what this is for. This is the bar, and we are not going below it. That is the plan. <laughs> But the actual goal of the series is to just make things, whether that be participating in art challenges, art contests, or redesigning a well-known character into something new. The whole point of the series is to try and challenge my creativity and see what I can come up with with something that's already pre-existing or something that might not be art related at all. Like as you can see in the speed paint picture, this is a picture of the ENFP icon from 16P. Granted, I did make them to a character many years ago, but it would be things like that, taking a concept and making that into character design. Because I find character design really fun, but you have to practice to get better. The next series is Webtoon Wednesdays. Now, admittedly, this is the most unique out of all of the three, because unlike Maker Mondays and Fan Art Fridays, it's not just about me drawing. It's about another pre-existing work. For me, I love webcomics. Webtoon is where I spend most of my free time when I'm not drawing personally or I'm in school. I think it's great that a lot of indie comic creators are able to have a platform and be able to support themselves and bolster themselves and I feel like as not only a fan but also someone who's creating her own webtoon with aspirations of it taking off like theirs, it is in some way my responsibility to let them know just what I like because I feel like with a lot of webtoons, you don't see the same level of feedback as you do with like animated films or even novels. Sure, there are podcasts and there are blogs, but you don't get the same amount of reception when it comes with webtoons. They're typically just simple reviews who are like, you know what, this is how I feel about the webtoon, the end. I don't wanna do that. I wanna take a webtoon, take a specific concept that that webtoon does and goes, this is something this webtoon does and this is what I like about it because I not only want the authors to know that their work is appreciated, but I want other readers and writers to see that and be like, oh, I see that this was a positive reception for someone else. I can implement that in writing too. I just want to bring a bit more light to like the work that people put into their, their craft because it, it's important and it really does help inspire other people. And if I can help spread the word of that, I'm going to do everything in my power to do so. That and also I get to drop fan art characters in the back, which is not as kind of fun. And finally, last but not least, is Fan Art Friday. Admittedly, I've never been like a huge fan art person. There are a couple series where I'm like, listen, I will draw every last one of you. And you will enjoy it, and I will enjoy it. And that, that's just that. But more often than not, I've always kind of avoided it because it felt like a cop-out. Everyone knows that if you want to grow on social media, you draw fan art. Like, that's just the thing you do. And then everyone flocks to you because, of course, you're looking for more content for the series that you like. And so it felt kind of like I couldn't do that because I wanted more people to pay attention to my OCs and not my fan art. But like I said, I don't want this channel to just be me striving for growth in like an algorithmic sense. I just want to have fun. If I just want to draw a character wearing a goofy costume, then I'm going to do it and I'm going to enjoy it. And I hope that you enjoy it too. That's really the main goal of this entire thing. And so that's the plan. Um, since this is going to be the first week where I try to like diligently put out content, I might 
be slower in production. At first I was thinking of just doing one video a week and just alternating between the days, but at the same time like it's February, it's Black History Month, it's also Valentine's, so part of me is like, well I want to make videos about romance webtoons because it's kind of topical, so I don't know. We'll, we'll feel around and figure out what kind of schedule suits both me being a student and employee and, you know, an actual teenager. But thank you for coming. Coming? Watching. Thank you for being here. Know that you are loved and appreciated, and I hope that my content makes you happy. Have a great day. Oh, also, if you have any tips for improvement, whether that be with my art or my videos, feel free to let me know. All feedback and criticism is absolutely allowed here and encouraged. Okay, thanks, bye.